one of these bounces, Sergio, for everyone who showed up. We've got some amazing stuff for you this evening. Features, new uh, features, new products. We're solving a mystery with a quiz. Um, an AMA, the most important bit, which is um, answering your questions. You get to ask us anything. A thought, I brought one. Uh, a story about Tony the Tiger. Firstly, a shout out, I think. Um, I was thinking before we were doing this, a shout out to all the people in the community that have contributed since the last AMA when we launched Chats, which we thought was a bit of a sketchy experiment. But actually, looking back, it's been a, a really um, kind of a positive thing. And I just was in there in a second ago, rambling on, giving somebody else some advice in the build-up. So thanks very much for everybody who's contributed and helped other stores. Uh, if you've got um, feedback for us, issues or things you want us to improve the product, you can use the feedback to talk to us, but to talk to each other, um, use chat. And we're so stoked that people have been, been doing that in such a constructive way. Okay, I'm here. I'm in random. Uh, what should we start with? Oh, we've got to start with a big, um, I think it was testing our quiz functionality, wasn't it? Uh, we've got a live audience. Let's hear some participation. <laughs> That's like one person. <laughs> down. Um, uh, they haven't warmed up yet. The team went up to the shop to get some drinks and came back with some Corona, the wrong beer to buy um, <laughs> during this time. Actually, they probably could do with some support. It's unfortunate. Um, uh, oh, yeah, that was it. Audience participation. Last time, unfortunately, we had a little incident. Listen very carefully. We're going to play it back. It started a little bit of a discussion among the community about whether it really was a sneeze or whether it was a sneeze. Um, Serge, are we going to play it back? We're going to use this as an opportunity for you guys to kind of test with a little bit of uh, quizzery. Let us know sneeze or sneeze in the comments, um, and we're going to see how many people we got out there right now. Remember, we're in uh, the chats at the moment, timo.com forward slash chat. I'm in random. I think that's the best place for this, especially as most of these thoughts are relatively unstructured. Uh, we will try and get onto the YouTube thingy as well, um, but if you're in chat, uh, submit your AMAs in random. We're going to go through the ones that are already submitted. But first of all, we want to ask you a question. Was it really a sneeze? Uh, for those of you that didn't follow it last time, here's a recap. You can listen to it in normal time. Listen quite carefully. And we've got a slow motion afterwards. Hit the video. Sneeze or no sneeze? Multi-stores is something that we've got uh, a beta version working internally. We need to be super careful about that, obviously. Um, somebody just sneezed. <laughs> uh, um, uh, so that is, um, this is amazing. It's sort of really weird because I've got it on here trying to look at the comments, but this is behind. So I just looked at a picture of me looking at my computer. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, we did say it was going to be sketchy. All right. Who we got? Uh, we got summit on my mind. It was a bum sneeze. Okay, yeah, it's the concentration phase, Steve. That's exactly right. Hi, Louise. How's it going, dude? Uh, um, actually, we can reveal. Um, this has been this has been, this has been uh, a hashtag internally, but it was a real sneeze. Okay, what happened was it was um, Chompo tried to kind of conceal it, and as a result, it just made it worse. <laughs> so if you're uh, ever doing live TV and you need to sneeze, just let the sneeze come out. It's much better than than the alternative. Okay, so there's our. Um, Practice quiz. Now we've got a real one for you, okay, based on some of the things we're going to be talking about. Um, let's see if we can fire this bad boy up. What we want you to do is to tell us which one of these, and we're going to post this picture in the random chat too, which one of these photos is for real, and which one of them do you think was created by some AI magic? So which one is for real? What we got, Serge? Let's talk about this picture qu quite quickly. So these two um, pictures that we're showing on the screen here is kind of like, I guess, one of the main things we want to talk about in this video, which is the uh, AI models. And what you can see is the kind of old system. And you know, when we kind of, we, we started this whole thing, we started a brand. We wanted to build a brand which is natural materials and renewable energy. Um, and it took, it was like way too hard. It took us like 10 years. It was uh, kind of crazy how every time we tried to do the right thing, things got more expensive. And we realized that by designing out all of the waste, we can make the system more efficient, which would make it possible to do all this stuff we wanted to do with sustainability. And one of the most kind of like uh, biggest opportunities we had was use technology. And one of the biggest wastes, though, was like 
And no, it sort of seemed crazy that we made it so that we could produce things like really quick in real time, but then we had to kind of like actually make them and photograph them to um, get them out there. And you had all these piles of samples instead of piles of stock. So the AI photos technology was our way of solving that problem. But you can see, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think it was good? I mean, I thought it was like, it was like pretty good, that like the good photos. Um, but the problem was the way the tech worked is that it kind of like laid the design over the t-shirt. And you can see that means the models kind of have to stand like really straight and kind of like, I don't know, maybe a bit stiff. Kind of looks a little bit like a, uh, like what do you, what do you call it when you, in a police station? Mug, is it a mug shot or a lineup? How do you know? <laughs> Rihanna in product, more from her in a minute. Um, <laughs> a police lineup veteran. So yeah, we, you know, and actually <clears throat> what we found when we built our own brand is that when we started really investing, we, we tried lots of different things, you know, we've been through the same experience, like you design loads of products, you build a website, you try and do some marketing, you do some ads. When we started investing more in photography, things started to change really quick. That's one of the reasons why we talk so much about original photography. When we uh, changed all of our investment away from advertising and towards photography, the quality of all of our web pages, our brand, our socials really picked up, became more real. And actually, here's a stat for you guys. The conversion rate was uh, six times higher for us. We went from kind of like, you know, like one to say six over a period of a couple of years when we were doing loads and loads of work in photography. So we kind of produced this to help you, but it wasn't really to the standard of what you needed. Okay, so this is uh, what we're doing. Are we doing it button now? What do I, Sergio's making, Sergio's pointing now. Well, you can press the button. <laughs> okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is move on to this question. All right. So which, this, this is the new technology you've been working on. And what we want to do is we want to have the same principle where we can make, um, you know, like save you guys time, save you guys money but also not compromise on quality and make sure your customer has a really inspiring and high quality and realistic, fundamentally, expectation of what's going to arrive. So you, you guys now, see if you can figure out which one went, was for real and which one is AI magic. All right, see if you can tell. The one on the left, one on the right. All right, so we can come back to studio now. Right, I want to see who's chatting. Who's chatting? Definitely a trouser cough. <laughs> Last minute wardrobe change. There's going to be a wardrobe change in a minute. <clears throat> okay, guys, so let me see what you think there. Um, which one do you guys think was the real one? Left is AI. Interesting. <clears throat> Tell you what, why don't we, one on the right from Lee, how's it going? Dude, George left his fake. Right, Serge, maybe bring that bad boy up again. Let's have another look. One last little cheeky look. And I think this kind of speaks to, I don't know, maybe how much things have changed and how much this new piece of technology that we're talking about has. Craig, dude, both are AI, nice. Linda, both AI, no shadow on print. Tough one, the one on the right. Okay, so I think the really exciting thing for me is like, isn't it hard to tell, you know? Let me tell you now, one of those was printed and shot and the other one was produced by our new AI technology. And the fact that, you know, there's debate that we can't really tell the difference, that to me kind of like speaks, uh, speaks to like, you know, where we're at. It's quite exciting. Okay, what we're gonna do for a second, move on to your AMAs. Uh, so while you got me far away, um, Spider Monkey, we all delayed this just for you. Thanks for all your contributions. Uh, Deeper Blue, glug glug, the good old divers. Think of you guys every single time I go snorkeling. Um, also, I believe the Deeper Blue crew has been to the factory. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, at least to the freshwater factory. Something that I think people have asked for in the AMA, would it be possible for um, uh, people to come, come, and, come and see us? Um, what should we do? Back to the studio, Serge? Yeah. Um, where are we now? Is that where we are? <laughs> hey, this is slick, man. Yeah, isn't it? No, not yet. I've got to do AMA. <laughs> this is like proper slick. It's like the one show almost. Um, <laughs> this is the bit that we've really practiced as well. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Uh, yeah, people have been asking, can they come and see us? I think obviously with uh, coronavirus um, and the pandemic, 
Um, that's not been something we can offer. Uh, we would really like to do that. We actually, like before COVID, we actually had some plans to do like some T-Mill Pro days. Uh, it was like our idea and we, we sort of like planned it and then we kind of put that on the shelf. Mo mostly what we want to do at the moment is focus on making sure that we bring you guys really, really great software because like a visit and a tour is kind of fun, but like tools and software that you really need to grow your brand is like what you really need, you know. A visit is, would be nice, but the tools are what you need. So I'm going to build that first, but I mean, how can I put it? Like it's something that we really, really, uh, we really want to put together. And also we don't know what's going to happen this winter. And like, it's a little bit sketchy with all this lockdown stuff. I don't know. So maybe we'll just sort of see in spring. But I would, I'd, someone can hold me to that. I think Frodo is out there waiting to gunge me for Christmas if I don't offer the bulk edit thing. So this is another one. I'm, I'm not sure where we go after gunging. Anyone think of something? <clears throat> no, we'll get back to us. You guys can come up with a suitable punishment. If we don't allow a Team Mill Pro uh, visit in 2022, um, then I can be in trouble with all of you guys. <laughs> yeah, we'd like to do that. I think it'd be, be, uh, be, um, be pretty fun. Uh, perhaps in small groups, you can come see uh, one of the production facilities, see how your stuff's made, that kind of stuff. All right, let's get into the AMAs now because that's what we're actually here for. We need to make sure there's natter on. All right, Planet Dweller. Upload your own model pictures with plain t-shirts using AI mockup software. What we want to do, I mean, I did actually have a, th I did think about that. I, th I don't, th I think, What's your, what, what do you think about that, Sergio? Uh, mm, tag Sergio, tag self, and like, do we do that? I think that'd be too hard. What we, what we really want to do is, I think the p purpose of this tool, let's go on to that in a second. The purpose of this tool is to make it easier for you. And, and actually, especially for pro users that are subscribed and help in sponsor and accelerate the development of the problem, you shouldn't have to do that. What we should do is make sure that we're giving you the, uh, photos that you want to see. And actually, we're quite ambitious about the number of photos we're going to add to this system. What we need from you is a really, it really helps have a clear direction in terms of the photos that you, you want for your brands. Show us, don't tell us. Get pictures of photos you think, hey, look, this would really work for me. Chuck it in the chat, say, this would be great. Um, perhaps in the features chat, maybe, or design chat, which one would be best? Design chat, I think, because that's where, that's, that's where you lurk in it, Serge. So show us the kind of photos that you want. So instead of having to do it yourself, uh, we'll do it for you. And you really use that subscription. Um, uh, what else we got? Uh, T Peaks. Whew, lots of questions. I'll do like two of those four. When in pro, can I have neck tags? We used to do that. Neck tags, custom printed neck tags. Absolute disaster. Super expensive. It actually made, it was actually more expensive than printing the shirt. It's totally crazy. And actually, uh, it, the, the, cus the customer kind of doesn't benefit. They just got this kind of piece of stink. They're like, oh, thanks, and they throw it away. It's actually a relic from retail. So what used to happen is people used to put stuff into retail concessions and people would buy the brand and then the brand would kind of want that user to go home, read about the brand and buy something else from somewhere else instead of just a shop. Well, you know, uh, if what you want to do is to sort of like, get your customer learn a, who's bought something to get, learn a bit more about your brand, hear a bit of the backstory. You can do that digitally without the actual cardboard and plastic waste of having, having like swing tags or, or, or whatever, without the expense. They don't have to throw it in the bin. Um, so we don't have to design a way for that to sort of like somehow be acceptable to create waste. It's kind of the opposite of what we're trying to do. I think this will be solved digitally in a project we're doing in the future, which we'll talk about perhaps in the next AMA, which is the ability to design flows. So that after someone's bought something, you can configure like a welcome email. It's basically a digital swing ticket that, that is clickable and buyable too. Uh, and lastly, plans to induce the product range from rapid to email. Generally, we do that, but in, uh, you know, I think things are changing a little bit. Um, got some of the product ladies here. We can ask them in a second, but they're actually designing some products right now that are going to go on T-Mill that we probably won't use on rapid. Okay. So, um, that will probably be increasingly part of the product strategy to just make stuff just purely from a T-Mill perspective. First, hope that's helpful, dude. Thanks for the questions. Uh, naughty, hey, lovely people. That's nice. I had a good. I had a question from about sizing. Kids' size go to eleven to twelve. Would a thirteen and a half need to buy a men's? Oh, and some people have already chipped in here. Thanks. We've got Frodo. Uh, a hinge. Hope I've said that right. Otherwise, it sounds like a sneeze. A hinge. Uh, 
13 year olds they i mean when i was 13 i think i was about the size of a hobbit and other people are giants so it's very hard to say but i would probably say excess um or if it's super massive teenager and s but they grow like light speed i would go excess let me see entire product team very quiet product team drinking your coronas over there <laughs> yeah it looks like an excess okay dudes all right so couple of amas let's break this bad boy up with another quiz who's ready Time for us to ask you a question. Which one of these is for real and which one of them is AI magic? Sergio, it's time to press that button. Um, and again, what we want you to do here, whether you're in the chats or whether you're on the YouTube, um, is tell us which one of these is for real. Sergio, is that, this, is that the blue one in the same photo as before? Sweet. That's a different one. I'm seeing a different one. <laughs> it's just a lag. It's driving me crazy. Okay, which one of these is for real? Now, this was the subject of some debates because this was posted earlier in the week. Now, who was it? Was it Spider Monkey? Maybe Planet Dweller? Um, somebody said, uh, uh, I'll use slightly different words, they would poo bricks if the one on the left was AI because um, there's no way that would be possible because it's, um, it's tucked in. But other people can test that actually... Uh, the one on the right has kind of like different lighting and stuff. So that one must be the real one. What do you guys think? Tell us. One on the left, one on the right. Which one is AI? Which one is for real? I remember like the, uh, the purpose um, of this technology is to kind of increase, um, you know, the quality of your websites to make it easier for you guys, you know, to make professional looking websites and to really just kind of like cut down on waste. I think that's the most exciting bit from a sustainability point of view. Plus your customers get, I think a better experience, more, more accurate technology means more accurate, um, you know, perspective on, on what's actually going to show up. Um, so which one is AI? Which one's real? Left is AI. Maybe I let them hope it's left. Dark nature alternative. <coughs> um, what else we got? Right is AI. I mean, am I allowed to say? Maybe I should say, I hope he's been eating a lot of fiber. Uh, let's move on, Sergio. Back to some, uh, <laughs> back to some, uh, some, um, AMA has got one here. Gemma, wonder if we possible link AI photos through the studio in a way that customers see a mock up of the design will look like before they buy. Such a great idea, dude. I think, uh, we'll probably do that. Um, got one of the engineers here, actually. I'm looking around a whiteboard because he's kind of like sat behind it. <laughs> Is that possible? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll probably. I think I think that's actually a really good idea. Actually, um, it would be kind of cool if people could kind of see a preview of how it looked when when it's worn. Um, okay, what other questions we got, guys? While I'm here, let's use that AME sort of thingy. How about the ability to load your own photo? There's UI to put the design on the snap. This way you can have one or two plain samples to use for all the new designs. Have I answered that one? I've got to scroll up apparently. Davinci's pointing up. <laughs> oh, I've done something. Have I done something wrong here? Oh, that's my bad. I'm looking in the wrong place. Oh yeah, flipping egg. Like the mother load, all the questions that we asked for in a week. And I just like scroll past it. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, okay, prodigious. Um, is there any restrictions to the AMA? No, dude, you can ask anything you want. Anything. Um, what's my favorite color? Um, not promising we'll answer them all, depending where you go with that. But you can ask whatever you want. The pipster, not able to make it. Ah, this is a really good one. I like this. Someone asked this at work, actually. Um, from, from Pippa, I don't think the designs are adjusted to product sizes. I was able to check one on the t-shirts. Like, if you've got a slogan on a small, it looks much... Like, when you, when you, if you have a... Um, hi, you are right? <laughs> <laughs> Random in product is like, really... It's going gonna, it's gonna to be talking to us in a minute. It's like, slightly stressing about it. It's quite a high-energy team. Whoa, what's going on? Are you still are you worried about it? Don't worry about it. Guys, tell, give Rana some reassurance. She's really worried about talking to all of you. you know, perhaps in the comments you could say like, you know, chillax or something. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, there was an actual serious question here. 
It's a serious question here. Right. So Pippa, when when you when you like if you put a design on like say a medium and then <clears throat> and then you, you, if you bought an XL, it kind of looks different. Now, there's a reason for that, and it's not because technically we're not able to uh, kind of like stretch the design uh, or shrink it depending on the size. In fact, at certain steps, for example, on kids' t-shirts, we do do that. But actually, for adults, uh, I need to figure out a way to say this diplomatically. What, what happens is when, when people get, like, say, larger, they go from a medium to, like, an XL or a 2XL, they don't actually just kind of scale in 2D, okay? They scale this way. Uh, and when we actually do the tech packs, what, what happens is you, you make certain dimensions get bigger, so the chest gets bigger because it, like, goes out more. But the actual sleeve length and sleeve cap and the neck hole don't get much bigger past sort of like a large. So interestingly, wh when it's laid flat on a table, the design on a 2XL will look small. But when it's put on someone who is that size, their profile, when you look at them, it will look proportional. And so it's actually quite important. Rather than being a fault, it's actually a feature because uh, it means that whoever puts it on, when they have a photo of themselves taken wearing it, it will look normal. So that's why we do it um, that way. We do add steps in where that size goes with outside of bounds, mostly from kids. And the, the way we do it is like different size tooling in the factory. Okay, but that explains like a... Uh, does that, that explains that. It's really interesting nuance of t-shirt design. It's something if you kind of get quite... kind of when you start getting serious and really thinking about it. Um, I remember having that question the way someone explained it, it's like... Mm -hmm. Um, so that's why it's why it's done. It's scaled to proportional to front on profile, um, as opposed to because people don't scale in two D. Friday one from you. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, my question: Something's asked previously. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am actually every uh, every time we nearly launch this thing, I do think of you and the gunge promise I've made. Uh, this is the ability to bulk edit products. We. Um, we, we have that feature internally. It's wrapped up in a tool um, that we built to help people with SEO. And the tool's pretty good. We just like, I don't know, we wanted it to be like really amazing, like worthy of an AMA launch and like really exciting. We didn't iterate it again because we worked on this and a couple other things that we can talk about in a sec. But we are going to get back around to it probably next month. It's kind of frustrating. Maybe you guys tell us. Let's have a vote right now. What if we launch that tool kind of as like a beta, um, with you guys understanding that the SEO, like uh, team internal SEO tool, like wasn't like perfectly finished. There was a couple of features missing, but it broadly worked. Plus one of the things you got is bulk edit, bulk edit products, bulk edit URLs and products, which I know that a lot of people want. Um, is that something that you want us to do? It means you get it early, but you'd have to kind of accept that it'd be sort of like a known beta. We don't normally do that. Um, we normally like to ship things that were really bulletproof like used for months in advance but we could do that if like people really want it um, we could probably get that out um, I'd have thought in the next couple of months so let us know what you think there dudes um, I'm hi highly confident I won't be getting gunged anyway so you get that this year before Christmas <clears throat> all right what else we got God, I'm reading a lot on here some of these questions Whew. ah is it possible to get 2022 and one to twos Product ladies, remember that one. You can answer that um, direct to Ravens Wolf in a second. Now let's take a quick break for, a, I believe this is the third and final super quiz on uh, AO models. Which one of these is full real? And which one of these is, um, you know, AI magic? Okay, see if you can tell. Let's get it on screen right now. Get us on chat, teamo.com for us chat. We're in the uh, random channel or feel free to hit us up on YouTube and see what we got. <coughs> Andy Cross left any back shots in new AIs? Good question. Uh, not in the V1 launch. We probably might do it later. 98% roughly plus of all of the, um, you know, like volume we do is, is front prints. It's just people look at people's faces. Uh, back prints in every campaign we've ever done uh, don't perform as well as fronts. I know that people still want it anyway. We kind of have this thing where like, we try and give you everything you need and nothing that you don't. Sometimes people want something else. That's what the pro sub is for, actually. Kind of kind of stuff that, you know, if you want it, like we'll build it. So we'll probably uh, we'll add some back prints into there. Um, uh, but what we want to do is just make sure our focus right now is to make sure that we make amazing and increase the number of options that you've got. And in particular, like 
check this out. We've got three different shots, three different models, three different locations, kind of three different styles. What we're trying to do is have a massive diverse range. In particular, this project and another one that we're going to kind of sneak preview at the end of the AMA. The idea is so that you can make your Timor store really unique and distinctive. You know, we want to have loads of different uh, uh, shoots so that, um, you know, the more shoots we add, the less chance that, you know, um, your brand will look similar to somebody else's. All right. So we're going to focus on getting the front prints and the volume and the quality of those first, but before we do that, but we, we won't, we won't ignore that, those requests. All right. For the back print fans out there. Okay. Which one of these is real and which one of these is AI magic? Can we tell? So Craig, right. AI. Uh, P is that left? Don't know. Not sure which one we're on. All right, I need to not lose my place on that one. Deeper blue diversity in models for AI photos really important. Agree. Lots of efforts been put on that with Sergio and the rest of the team. Not just uh, diversity in terms of the models, but also the location. You know, we got everything from cityscapes, indoors, outdoors. Um, oh, underwater would be good, wouldn't it? Have a chat with them about that. Um, so which one of those is for real? Any, any, any takers? All right, we're going to tell you all in a minute which ones are. A couple of AMAs real quick. Luciano. Hi, how do I remove this Timo from my website address? Has someone helped him? Sam's right there. Look at that. Speed. That's in the plugins, dude. Um, also, just a little note. Uh, you can now comment on plugins, and that means uh, you can help other people on plugins too. Um, and you can comment on blogs if you haven't seen that already. So one of the things that we really want to do is start discussions on those blogs so that people can like ask questions or share what they've learned about specific topics and get really targeted help. Um, right, I need to find this, this, oh, there it is, I'm back, back in the hood. All right, sound advice. Do you have any updates on the factory being built in the EU? Um, it's happening. I think there's a, when's the, when's the install date? September. Should we do the next AMA from there? That would be madness, wouldn't it? Maybe we should do that. Team along tour. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see if we can. <laughs> yeah. The international, the international team can all come. Uh, yeah. Happening soon, dude. Um, it's a total drag in it. This whole Brexit thing is complete nightmare. I think um, even with the systems that we've put in place, the regulations are still changing. And one of the things that's frustrating is it's not so much that you know the uh, the logistics work and the compliance work that we put in place to make sure that the customer has a good experience. I think there's generally a feeling of in the EU in terms of the conversion rates that we're seeing that EU customers just don't trust the wider kind of like political system and whatnot. So that's going to really help, um, and uh, we're really excited about making that happen for you guys. It's good at EU. It's going to be amazing. All right. Uh, what happens now? We're going to... This is the big reveal. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do we do the big reveal? Do I want to do that? Yep. Who's ready for magics? Come on. Let me see some reaction. What's everybody saying? Someone... Tell me in the comments on YouTube if you really want to have Magic Models live on your store right now. I'm about to push a button. Rotate this way. You ready to push the button? Yeah. You pushed it. Well, hang on, not yet. <laughs> Wait for the bang. <laughs> so loud, you just never get used to it, do you? Okay, somebody just pushed a button. Magic Models, that technology is live right now on your store. Dudes, enjoy it. Um, what happens? What happens now? Sergio is going to show us on the screen with an example. All right. So what we need to say first about this technology uh, um, is that uh, it's um, we're shipping this as like the first iteration of what we built. Um, like everything we built, we like super test it, and we want to make sure we launch stuff that we know is like like really solid. And uh, as with everything we launch, in this case, we're shipping the technology to everybody, but the uh, the real high production value of our best shoots are going to go to pro users first. There's something for everyone that pro users are getting the, the new shoots first. Okay. Um, and this is an example of the kind of photos that you can expect to find. Now, we've uploaded our first batch 
of these models and locations today for you to play with. And this is where you're going to be able to find them. So when you go to create a uh, product, you'll see a kind of new button. We slightly tweaked the product page um, or the product creator. Um, and there's a new button, this is AFX. You can still upload uh, as per usual your own stuff from your phone and your device, and you can still get linked to AI models in, from that window as well. Um, there's two changes that are coming real soon. Uh, one of them is that in the uh, upload section, we're gonna add more kind of like useful photos like uh, into Drive. So these are not magic models, this is kind of to the side, like, like macros or close-ups or pictures of like say the labels or the weave or the hems or whatnot. And you're gonna be able to find them in Drive and they'll be kind of like suggested to you on that normal upload button on the left. There's a new one on the right, which is AI mockup. When you click that, this is what's gonna happen. Just like normal, uh, it will add your design to the models, but instead what you're gonna see is the new models with the new technology. Um, that's basically it. Now, if you want the uh, uh, the latest, you know, uh, and you're a prosy, you can expect the um, you know us to be uploading more. Our, our kind of plan over the next year is to really invest quite aggressively. In fact, we've got shoots going on most days, okay, and uh, it's 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 probably one of the areas where uh, you know we're. We're putting most time and energy into. Uh, it took us a while to spin up and build a network. There's lots of photographers, lots of different countries, lots of different locations. So you can expect us to be adding new models regularly, um, probably ish on a weekly cadence. We'll keep you up to date with that. So as time goes on, you're going to see more and more models added to the uh, to the platform. And what we'd like to hear from you is what you want to see, because you know rather than us just kind of trying to guess, and we will use. Uh, you know, our knowledge and experience to put on great shoots and to look at the data. It always helps as well to hear what you guys love, what you guys want to see. So show us in the chats, rather than tell us, show us, go find some pictures that you really love, place them in the chats, debate them as well. If you agree with someone, say, yeah, I'd like to see this. And if you think maybe not so much, um, you know, offer an alternative proposal as well. And, uh, you know, the team really do listen. Uh, everybody in the business, um, you know, checks in and sees what you guys think about the product. Lastly, I'd just say, like I said, we've shipped this today. Uh, this is a software sort of like game, you know. We are going to have situations where, say on a really old device, I think there was an in-test in some random iOS uh, old device, old browser combo that caused a bit of a memory leak, which chasing down. If you find anything that you're, you're not, you, you think could be better, if you find what you think is a bug, uh, if you've got just some positive feedback as well um, for the engineers, please share it with us. Um, feedback for technical. Um, and this is what uh, like the product page here is, is why this matters so much. Because what this means is that you know, the effect on your product pages, it means more realistic, more inspiring, higher production quality photos should increase your conversion rate. So help you turn some of that traffic into sales. You will also be able to, as usual, find these designs once you've made them, or these photos once you've made them, in your drive to download, share on socials, and using other marketing tools later. All right, so uh, there we go. Magic Models is live with new models coming. And now what we're gonna do, uh, Sergio just gave me my lines, we're gonna show some examples. Thank you, Sergio. Um, am, I, am I behind on, yeah, that'll probably be why. I think I'm behind. I'm like a minute behind. That's kind of <laughs> that's not good, is it? Um, so some examples. Um, I think one of the cool things about this technology is just how how you know the 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 canvas kind of flexes, doesn't it? Like over the highlights, it gets lighter. Over the lowlights, it gets darker in the shadows. And the pose of the model can be more dynamic and interesting and energetic, more natural. And it will take your design and do that automatically uh, for you. And let's see uh, what else we got. Oh, it's because I'm not pressing play, search. That's not very really clever. Right, what's next? You got another example? Great. Yeah, and here's that last example. It was, this is that original, it was uh, an AI um, photo. And we can see that we've uh, created software that really takes this to the next level. You know, what we're not trying to do is replicate other services like like Polite. We're trying to move the the technology forward if we were going to do it um, and create in situations where, for example, things that are tucked in or walked around or, or whatever, um, 
you know, the technology can adapt and overcome that and really make things that are so real you can't tell the difference. All right, there's magic models. Let us know what you think, what we're thinking, peeps. <coughs> Linda, yay. Lee, thank you. Dude, you're welcome. Something on my mind. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm not a whooper. It sounds really funny when I say that. But maybe I should be more peep. Peer, yes. Dark nature alternative. These are awesome. Any cross. I believe that's the emoji. T Peaks, Bullseye, Liatra. We have different body shape models. Lee, if that's what you want, tell us. And that's what we will do. Show us some examples of what you want to see in the chats. Um, the whole team goes in there and really cares about, you know, making sure that we're creating a product that you guys love. Many moons. Looks amazing. Dude, glad you like it. Seven brand. Looks epic. I agree. The excitement was very real with this bad boy. I think in particular with the uh, prototypes, when we started realizing what was possible, especially like with that stuff like with the belt, it was like, whoa, it's pretty cool. Um, so it's great. It's, it's been quite hard actually trying to sort of like not leak it and have to be patient enough to wait till it's sort of sorted. Love and something on my mind. Wicked. All right, cool. Um, what am I seeing in the chat? Have I done that? Am I meant to be in? Is there more in the chat? Yeah, there is. Flip neck. Whew. Okay, um, I had a story real quick. This is what I brought. Okay, so it's this. I was thinking about this a lot. Um, there's, there's, I want to talk about a little bit about branding and something that we've learned in building a brand. And it's something I'm slightly hesitant about with these magic models. And that is, you know, if we want, if we think about the brands, like for us as brand owners or brand builders or founders or whatever, the brand is like really important to us. It's like this whole thing. We kind of understand what its values are and like the pictures and it's like our project and it's on a laptop and we check in on it and stuff. But to, the, to our prospective customer, it's just kind of like an idea in their head and like a, like a thing they need to remember. And so for brands to be, to kind of like work, they need to be really, mem like they need to remember them. So it needs to be memorable. And the thing that in, if you think about like humans, like people are really good at remembering stories and stories kind of stick more than stuff. Like who really remembers or is excited about that inanimate object on the floor that I just popped earlier? Everyone's forgotten about it already because it's just a thing. Um, but we're talking. And so, you know, for stories to be memorable, they need to have characters. Like imagine Lord of the Rings without Frodo and Samwise. It's just like mountain, river. Not a great book, but as soon as you put characters in it, it becomes really memorable and really interesting. You can follow the characters and get excited about them and relate to them. And that's why perhaps a lot of the really successful businesses that are out there right now are not just brands, they're backed by great characters. Um, you know, think about like Tesla and SpaceX is Elon. You know, people were like following his Twitter, seeing what he's thinking. Okay, he's a bit of a wild man, but isn't that cool? You kind of relate to it and see what he's saying and stuff. So the people, the characters are kind of like our portal into the brands. Like we can get excited about a brand because we can relate to the people. Some people understand that so well that they don't even need the brand. They get rid of it. And for their message to stick, they make themselves just the portal to it. Think about Greta Thunberg. You know, what she really is, wants to talk about is the science and she understands it needs to be about her, her face. And if you look on her Instagram, it's extremely clever. It's just her loads of pictures of her face. And the thing is, you can see that when you, when you understand that relationship between like the founder and their story and how people can relate and connect and remember that and how that works for their brand, you can see why so many people do it. Like Richard Branson, I know that like, I don't know if, if he, I'm not sure if he's the most like admirable dude these days, but like, you know, he's the original of that. It's just constant pictures of him in front of the Virgin brand. It's almost like before selfies, he'd, he'd nailed it. Um, now, people don't like doing that, especially when we're first getting started because I don't know, like, is anybody out there watching this really excited about, about talking about themselves and like taking a selfie? I, I think that, I think that it, mm, quite a lot of people are a bit afraid of doing that and it's kind of understandable. But actually, it's quite often the people that are really conscientious and think about what they're saying, the most interesting people that would make for some really interesting founders and founders' stories. Even if you don't want to put your face in front of your brand and tell your story, you know, think about people like Banksy. They still need to create a persona and a character to relate to his art. Like you can 
be a person and still be anonymous, you know? Everybody knows about Banksy, takes pictures of the back of his head. It's a guy. You can just say, ah, oh, you know, spray paint. It has to have, it's, it's the story of the, the mystique. And I was trying to think of other contexts as well, like, you know, it's everywhere. What is Tony the Tiger if he ha isn't just like a character that people and kids in particular can relate to that makes them remember that Frosties are awesome? They're great. Um, so what I mean to say is this. We've created this technology that helps you not have to have the expense or the time of creating really high quality product photography, but it's meant to supplement your story, um, not be a substitute for it. If you just use our magics and put them on your store, uh, that, that won't drive, your, drive sales all on its own. What it will help you do is increase your conversion rate, conversions from people who really buy into your brand, into your story and come to your store and then go, actually, I want to support this and then see the product looking great and think, yeah. So um, it, it, does that make sense? Characters. Okay, we did it. Do we have an example? Or have I got this all around the wrong way? Okay, and I don't know if we did this. It, it, so let's have a look at the picture that we, we, we took. Um, and this was for Rapper. And it kind of happened by accident because we were trying to talk about the brand the whole time and we're like, check out our brand and our products. And people are like, cool, so why did you start it? It's like, look at the brand, it's not about us. And it's like, yeah, that's great. Why did you start it? Like, you know, uh, where did you start it? Like, tell us about the business. And we realized people wanted to talk about us and we needed a photo and all the photos we had sucked. Now, <clears throat> what we did is we took one great photo that tried to sort of speak to our story. I mean, we think it's great. We, we actually did that, that's a real chicken. Um, and no chickens were harmed, actually. <laughs> Uh, I think the surfboard was balanced on tires, we photoshopped it out. And what we're trying to say is like, yo, we're trying to do this like really energetic thing around sustainable fashion and it's a bit mad and stuff. Um, now we took that one photo, we used it time and time and time again. So um, I guess uh, what Magic Models um, is about is, it's kind of like it's a different thing. That's what I mean to say it's different. I was actually having a conversation with a director of like a billion pound fashion business the other day. And he said, yeah, we, we think of our, you've got two types of photos, you've got overheads and assets. And it was all kind of financial language because they were like mega. But they were saying they have like the photos that is just like stuff they got to spend to just, you know, get the products on the website and whatnot. And they have the really big photo shoots of like their story, their big advert, their, their founder, their, all that kind of stuff. And that's like a different team. And they actually spend 10 times as much on what they call the asset photography about telling their story and building their brand than they do on what they call the overhead. The mat, the, the, that's just used for kind of like, you know, your store. Magic or the AI technology we've built is to get rid of the need to just do loads and loads of photo shoots for your brand, to buy you time um, to uh, create amazing photos, to tell your story. And that's an important part of, of, of building a brand and something that we see time and time again when we look at stores that are really performing um, you know, and supporting jobs versus stores that are, that are kind of like struggling to get started, is that one of them is doing a great job of telling a story visually and with the words and some of the others, it's a lot of stock photography. The, you know, people are not really connecting through to the characters. So just a thought for you guys to try, see what you think about that. Let us know what you think in the comments. Um, what happens next? We're doing something now. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I told you it would get sketchier. Uh, this is a great example. Let's take a look. Um, so this is Louise. Is Louise in the chat? Dude, if you are, surprised. I love this. I think it came through um, in one of the, and I hope you don't mind us using this, it came through, it was shared in one of the, um, in one of the channels. Um, and this is a great example because, you know, this isn't an AI photo. Um, but it's a great photo and it's because it's real. That's what I liked about it. It's a story about a person. It's, it's an honest photo wearing her own product. Um, and we can see there's a real person behind it who's really trying to do something. And one of the things that you find when you actually get out there and tell your story is people just naturally want to, um, want to back you and get behind it. So this is an example of perhaps, you know, now you don't need to take like heaps of photos for your store. Um, you could spend your time instead getting one or two great photos for your homepage to tell your story. And that's a great example of how you can use the, uh, 
sample shop um, features, which uh, <laughs> behind the scenes here, right? We're, people are moving around. That's what all the shuffling is. Um, to move to our next shot, this is so slick, guys. It's like the one show. I love it. <clears throat> Uh, use a sample shot the store uh, to get a couple samples and next time you want to put on a photo shoot ask if you couldn't turn the camera 180 degrees and get us a great photo that tells us your story okay so talking about sample shops you sample store you guys have seen uh in the sample store the uh new relaxed fit t-shirt um and now we're going to speak to the product ladies live Hello. yeah how are we doing Serge? all right <laughs> This is, um, this is, no, it's kind of, you can kind of scoot. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Okay. So this is the Ant and Deck of product. Okay. We're joined with Spam, uh, and Super, um, real names. Uh, we got some products. I hope you guys have loved the Relax Fit t-shirt. It's part of a program of awesome product design, um, where what we're trying to do is, you know, really take the product range available on Rabbit, uh, on Timo for the next, to the next level. It's getting late, in it? Too many cor cor coronas. Too many All right, so who's asking, them, who's answering the first question? My question is about color, who's that? Uh, Do you want to take the mic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you need to speak. Into the mic, test, test. <laughs> don't, don't swear. Okay, 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 PG. All right, so my question is, Colours, talk me through them. Why yeah. have you picked these colours? Why haven't we got luminous colours in? Well, this year what we wanted to do is to do colours that we would actually wear. Um, so we took a real hard look at it at the beginning of the year, didn't we? And we thought, what are we missing that we would want to wear? Um, and we kind of landed on these really cool tones. So we've kind of obviously kept like sort of like the black and white sort of the standards that we know best sellers. And then we've introduced some really cool sort of earthy tones that are really on trend, stylish, but they're also timeless. So they've been around for ages um, and they just work with everything. Um, so we've got this really cool sage, which is what we're calling sage, which is this one and the one that Lisa's wearing. We've also got this really one, which is a really popular stone blue. One of the I don't know what you're worried about. You're so I'm natural. I'm not worried. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's great. Um, and then, do you want to do the next one? Yeah, yeah, fine, yeah. yeah. It's probably better. <laughs> um, and then the next one, which is my favourite, is this sort of mauve colour, this pinky one. Yeah. Um, and then I think like the team favourites is the rust. I think that's a really cool colour. And we've also gone to introduce sort of this sand tone as well, which I know has been one that's been really requested in the chats as well. So at the start of the year, when Super, when you... Well, no, I've got a mic. Oh, oh you've got a mic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Your question is for super. <laughs> right. When you when you when you came in, right? Um, yeah. None of the women in the business really. I mean, like one, which is not really like not were really. really like wearing the product. Okay, yeah. but something's changed, which is but by, by making products that you kind of want to wear. You know, so yeah. do you want to tell us a little bit about that and some of the examples? You got any example you want to talk about? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So we've got the Relax Fit Tea, which is the one that I'm wearing today. Um, so this one was kind of based on like versatile wearing. So got like the four in one story there's loads of different ways to wear it um the side splits as well we could do a little demo yeah oh. if you if you uh, if how's you that gonna work yeah, yeah, yeah. well no i see it is isn't it no it's chuckle brothers okay, okay you should I'm have said to me to you <laughs> yeah okay so we've got the side split i think what i really like about this as well is that is is, is this is it it's kind of like you're really kind of like responding better to the market mm -hmm. right so yeah. tell us a little bit about that in particular it's basically just designing stuff that we want to wear. Like as in, yeah. we as in like women. We as in women. Because like yeah. boys designing girls clothes. Yeah. Not really, didn't really work very well, did it? <laughs> no, and we've kind of like made sure that there's styles that will work for everyone as well. Because obviously the products in the range at the moment are quite sort of more fitted. So especially with this one and some of the other products, they're sort of a looser overfit style. So if that is what people are wanting, and we have seen that demand sort of from team or store owners, we've seen the range. Yeah. So increasing the range. So a much bigger range, mm -hmm. products designed by women for women yeah. in the colours that are super on trend. Uh, get rid of all the guys out of the women's design team yeah. and like do it properly. You guys actually wear it. And this is the first of the products I launched today. So if you want to pass the mic to spam, let's yeah. have a look at, uh, if you could demonstrate okay. how we want to wear this product. Yeah, so we've got the, lots of different stories. So you've got the side split here, which you can do with the tie and tie a knot there. You can do that one side, you can do that both one. sides. Uh, option one. Is that what you just said? Yeah. Option, option two. two. <laughs> or you can do um, just a tuck in here. Option three. Or you can do a tuck fully tucked in, which is the way I was wearing it. Option four. Fantastic. So that product is available right now. Is that right? It's yep. just been enabled for yep. sale. You can create products today 
on your Teemo store. Use the magic models to do that as well. I mean, and we had some great feedback from the sample store as well. It went up on samples. I know I've seen that in chat earlier as well. People having samples. Yeah, it's great for people to get some samples. And I think the thing when with, with the sample store is, like we say, you add these new AI, AI mockups that help you just kind of create products really quickly. But what it can't replace is kind of like the heart, the soul, the spirit of what makes your brand kind of real, makes it right for you. So getting a, getting a sample and taking a shot that kind of represents like what your brand is about. Actually, do you know what? I, I don't know if you guys agree with me, but certainly in like women's fashion, sometimes like it used to be that it, all of the photos were like uh, really kind of like photoshopped, mm -hmm. but now it's not the same. It's no, a little bit more. It's more kind of, there's more styling involved. There's more like input in it. So rather than just having someone just standing there, they're kind of like doing something. They're telling the story sort of behind it. Organic. It looks a bit, a bit yeah, more organic, a bit more real. Yeah. A bit more real. So actually it kind of plays the team of store operator strengths that mm -hmm. actually people are kind of sick of that kind of like mm -hmm. huge mass produced kind of like McClothing. It's the uniqueness of it that I think sells it as well. And so if you are not sure whether or not your photos are good enough, Go for it. Be real. It's why people are buying into your brand. Have we got the boxy jumper here that we can yeah, show? Yeah, we do. Uh, I've got this colour, new one. Love that. And that's available in the sample store sample today. Store today, it's live now. Yep. Oh my. Second one. Oh my. Very excited. Um, and all of these products on here, we're not going to reveal them all. No, we're going to keep some secrets for you. Keep suspense. <laughs> suspense. Keep them on the toes. Um, whatever you do, don't mention the shorts. That was what I was told. Don't talk about the shorts. So we won't talk about the shorts at all. I haven't mentioned them. So that's good. Um, <clears throat> love this. Slightly different. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Bit Audrey. Quite yeah. feminine. You're yeah. wearing it. Yes, yeah, You're both wearing. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of like... To, it's really... We feel like it's kind of the sophisticated one. I feel yeah. like yeah. the long sleeve that we've got is a really, really good product sort of for when you're down the beach, but we were thinking if we were coming into the office and we maybe had something that was something a bit more smarter, we were going into a meeting, we could have this as an option. It still looks really smart. It's got a really nice sort of low scoop. Yeah. And we've got this really nice three quarter length sleeve and it's got a curved hem as well. So you've got kind of like quite a, it's not just more products, it's like a range of it's products for different occasions, kind yeah. of different kind of customers, lots more fun for you guys, all magic modeled up, uh, AI modeled up. Yeah. Um, and you're dropping them regularly now. Yeah. So you had a, I heard there was a boat Got, got stuck, a boat set on fire. Oh, yeah. Something called Brexit caused yeah, you problems, Brexit, but it's all pandemic, starting to ride now. Yeah. And uh, of, the, of the frowns turns up upside down. Yeah. <laughs> Check them out. Guys, product <laughs> team, Serge, we're going to have a look at a photo now. Um, everybody in the chats, give it up for the girls. I think they've done fantastic. Get rid of me. They should run it next time. Well done. Woohoo. <clears throat> all right. Um, and so this photo that you're going to show... Uh, or that is showing right now. This is just an example. This is not a um, uh, a um, a T-mill photo, or a magic model photo. This is an example of what we're we're doing, and we still, uh, despite using the technology that we've built, kind of like with brands that we uh, build and control, uh, we're still taking the occasional photo, and because it's sometimes you can get something that is really tells a story, you know, in this case, we really want to speak about, about the sea and about the sky. You might have a brand that's like skateboarding. You really just need to talk about, you know, your local skate park, or you might have one that's interested in your brands in like heavy metal, you know, or some, something else. And you, you know, you really just want to get a, a mosh pit going. So like I said, the AI technology, come on, mosh pits are rad. <laughs> You'd be great in a mosh pit. It's fun. <laughs> um, so the AI models are to to supplement, not substitute. You know, you, your brand, your story. Um, so still go out there and and uh, you know experiment and try and tell your story through those those images. Um, we hope that the AI technology just helps you kind of reduce waste and save time on the on the bits that really don't make such a difference when it comes to telling your story and and. and uh, you know, in your own way. Sweet. All right, let me have a look at some of these comments uh, coming in. We need more spam and super. Yes, we do. <laughs> these guys are the best. Um, what are you saying is, to is Tony the Tiger? I, 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 you know, this is the, is that not the, what, the level that we all aspire to be? <laughs> Tony the Tiger. No, no, Tigger, 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 Tigger is like Tony the Tiger, uh, like before he was famous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, next level, dude. Glad you're enjoying that, Peter. Uh, Linda, live the three quarter sleeve in new colors. Stone blue, perfect for your coastal vibe. Brilliant. Remember, dudes, um, 
you know, give us feedback. Like we're using data. We've got clearly some really talented and amazing people working for you guys. They're building products, like I said, just for you. Um, we also are sharing with you best practice, what we know. We, these are photos that we use. These are our, uh, our shots from elsewhere. We're sharing you what we've learned that, you know, you want to use original photography as well to kind of tell your story. And that is what will drive your sales. This stuff will just supplement it and increase conversion rate on the product page. Um, and now we're back to the studio. Uh, speaking of characters, uh, we're joined right now, going out live. Is that working? We've got problems. Oh, good we? Speaking of characters, I <laughs> don't know. I, can't, I can literally can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> They've gone now. Um, I mean, it, it kind of works. Do you know what I mean? This style. Like, I think if we tried to be serious, it just wouldn't work. So let's just <laughs> keep going this way. Uh, with the real Da Vinci. Welcome to the sofa. Um, yes, come on. What's the like? That's it. See, it took the entire AMA to like come out of your shell, but that's more like it. Okay, um, we've done all this work. We've got these features. We also, as a group, we, you know, we built T-Mill because we wanted to take the work we've done on sustainability and product, and we wanted to share it. Um, do you know I heard this thing the other day? You know Volvo? Mm -hmm. so, uh, okay, fact check. Uh, apparently, they designed the seatbelt, and they were like, this is so good, it'll save so many lives, we can't patent it, we'll just give it away. How good is that? Frequency plus good. So it's kind of like the team of philosophy where like, you know, we can't have like one, like, uh, one brand to rule them all. Um, like, like Sauron, we'll just share it. Um, and that's what a team is. You're saying we're, we're Frodo. Is yeah. That saying? That's exactly. We're, we're, well, we're just, we're, this is Hobbiton. Welcome. <laughs> um, and, and so how are we getting on? Sustainability wise? Sustainability wise. Well, don't review the AMA. <laughs> we'll worry about that later. Yeah, yeah sustainability was doing good. Yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about like how we're going this year with our targets because obviously we've been doing a lot more to introduce off weekends and stuff, which help not just with like discounting prices and just offering those discounts and stuff to your customers, but also with uh, helping the environment. Yeah, and like instead of just like driving prices down, you're making the environment go up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So uh, sustainability <laughs> impact. Yes. So number one is probably our trees planted through buy one get one tree off the weekends. Um, I think in general, like not only do we see with buy one get one tree that there's a really great environmental impact, mm, yeah. but also it really helps uh, on the business side, like engaging with your customers. I think that's really important because people can relate to trees. Like it's it's so hard when you talk about like climate, carbon, like they're all quite big concepts. And you, know, what does carbon dioxide look like? Mm -hmm. You know, like for real. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? But planting a tree is something practical that everyone can understand. So this buy one, get one tree weekends have been, I don't know, naturally quite engaging. Mm -hmm. And the results in terms of the amount that we've planted are mm -hmm. pretty spectacular pretty as a sort of like a community. Yes. The trees is all about carbon capture. Um, and with all of these trees in their lifetime, they've captured about 1.6 million kilos. That's CO2. amazing, dude. 1.6 million kg CO2 equivalent back in. Is the right word sequestered? sequestered. Someone check that. Um, Sounds good anyway. Very happy with that. So that's a great effort from the community. I think it shows not just like, I don't think the message is kind of like, isn't it good what we've done, but it shows more the other way around. Like, isn't it, isn't it, in, it shows that people really actually care about this and respond to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, nice bit of reassurance for those of you that are thinking about participating in some of those awful weekends, particularly the tree planting and the uh, plastic recovery. It's mm -hmm. something that people out there really engage with pretty well. Yes. All right. So what else we got? Uh, so, even more. Yeah, even more. Um, Sort of talking about trees and how that relates to carbon, we've also got um, on the other side of that and the other side of the business, I guess, you've got um, the engineering team have been doing a load of work to help increase speed. Big up engineers. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Which um, actually, can we say it's said Can you say what? It's said by George. You did. You did. You just, you just said yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, uh, um, yeah, incredible work on the AI mockups, but in particular, they've been working on speed, uh, making your stores faster, great mm -hmm. for SEO, uh, great for conversion rate. Um, I don't actually have the stats on how much faster it's got. It's got just, it's every week, it's like percent after percent yes, percent. I've got the stats. Give you the stats. So, what you got? Um, so, they've been doing this for two months. Yep. Um, since we started to now, it's improved by 400%. <laughs> 
I believe that's the uh, single most important thing that drives conversion rate is like web speed. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that helps you turn more of that traffic into sales. Thanks that dudes. Mm -hmm. And also they've been working uh, to get the servers over, um, and this was a while ago, we haven't really talked about that much, but carbon neutral servers powered entirely by renewable mm -hmm. energy, part of our carbon neutral certification. They think we've been kind of carbon neutral for quite a long time. And then someone's like, are you carbon neutral? And we're certified, and like, well, I don't know. And then we're like, we probably should, probably should just get that. Yeah, it's like kind of the same as with like our organic yeah. things, isn't it? Like GTS. Yeah, like I mean, it doesn't like, it's, but I mean, it proves, it's kind of like, you can mm -hmm. say that. So, yeah. uh, when are we doing that? It's like now, isn't it? Like, September, October. Everything's happening in September. Such a great month. <laughs> um, so carbon neutral yeah. uh, certification coming soon. Mm -hmm. um, and your website right now already is powered by renewables. That's kind of cool. Really cool. Yeah. Um, and we're talking about, we've done some bits on plastic. Mm -hmm. Yep. So not only do we have Bowman Gutman Tree, but we've also got 1T1 kg, which is less frequent to Bowman Gutman Tree. But we've still seen a massive impact with that one, where uh, to date we've recovered about the equivalent of like 1.6 million plastic bottles. That's ridiculous. So that's yeah. 1.6 million plastic bottles recovered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and then... Um, so far. So far, exactly. Come um, on, clean beaches. And <laughs> more importantly though, <clears throat> you know, rather than just taking waste that's kind of been created in that linear economy, we're trying to, you know, we're closing the loop with our supply chain. Um, so yeah, it's not just about like upper weekends. But we've also got more going on with our sector economy. Building it right into the business model itself. So instead of creating ways to make new products from it. And I believe we've got some like serious tonnage being pulled back in and being remade. Yes. And I've just realized I've forgotten my big prop. You tell them that. I'm going to go and get it. I'm just doing a costume oh change. Oh, you've got okay. to tell them. Tell them, oh, yeah, tell them okay. the stat. Um, yeah. So um, <laughs> since, since we introduced the sector economy, we basically recovered over 30,000 kilos of organic material, which is the equivalent of like 104,000 products. Damn, is that really, really Okay. <laughs> this is my cape. And so all of that is 100, 104,000 products. How many tons? Or kilos? 30,000. 30,000 kilos, that's pretty yeah. good. So instead of going to landfill, it's all being remade into new products, which we sell and which are available for you to use. What do you think of my cape? Yeah, it's quite nice. It's sick, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's massively very nice. No, no, that was cool. It's like <laughs> thirty thousand kgs. Not enough though. So, what we're going to be doing? Um, it's not. It needs to be one hundred percent of everything yes. back and remade. So, what we're doing um, is building a new chopper upper facility. Mm -hmm. We've already been working on a lot of the technology to improve the automated reverse logistics and recovery, mm -hmm. and. Uh, improving the uh, take back recovery um, technology available to stores so they can benefit more from that kind of program. Mm -hmm. um, especially as the cus like, you know, your customers, like, you know, the products are out there in the environment for longer. When they start getting worn out increasingly, they want to send them back. So that's what we're, we're going to be building that technology to make it. But check this out. This is a whole new material. It's nice. Color. This is yeah. right now, Remill is kind of like, in the kind of gray and kind of mute things. And we had a technological breakthrough. Are we allowed to share this? Too late, already mm -hmm. did. Yeah, you... it's over there. Just... <laughs> I know, I just, I live, shh. <laughs> <laughs> they won't tell anyone. Uh, do you want to go put that in front of the camera? Okay. Shall I do it? Okay. I'll take my super cape over here. Are we going to have to worry about focus and stuff? Let's see. Will that work? Yeah. Is that working? Yeah. What do you guys think of that? Check that out. It's like legit Rimmel 2.0. Shamal. <clears throat> All right. Now we need to, un we need to focus the other way. Um, I mean, I've just completely blown apart the entire sort of like communications plan for that, but I'm just yes. so excited <laughs> about it. So, you know, uh, you know, the end state as the business goes from a kind of like make and recover some to make and recover loads to recover most and make to recover all and remake all. That kind of journey is going to look like an increasing number of products that are made from Remo fiber, excuse me, and a, uh, a, 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 as the technology develops for the you know the reverse logistics take that we hope we can share with stores in future updates. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I guess now we've been speaking a lot about like TML and the stats that we've all done together, but together. But now it's about you, and we've shown we talked about. I think really what we're saying is <clears throat> this is great. 
but isn't it even better that people are engaging with it? Isn't it fantastic that we live in an age where people are like, this is awesome, I want to be part of that. So this is why we built the technology to help you share this story better with your users, your customers. When you're telling your story, maybe you're talking about you, um, you can talk about what you're doing, the impact you're making as well. Exactly. Yeah, so you may have noticed, like, probably it was about two months ago, I think, uh, the analytics page for your store like got a complete makeover. And one of those sections which shows up now is the environmental impact of your store. So in that, you can then now see how many trees you're planting, like how much plastic you're saving, how much carbon you're recovering through buying the tree offers, um, and all of that. And that's all like information which you can turn into graphics and turn into social media posts and newsletters and... <laughs> Sarah Kapoff. I mean, it's pretty full on, isn't it? Yeah. It's a great product, though. Um, just a one-off. Um, you know, let us know if you want to see Capes make a comeback, guys. I'll take uh, a poll on that. <laughs> okay, uh, last chance. Last couple of AMAs to see if we got one or two like super high-impact ones. Anyone want to pull one out real quick? Uh, chat, peeps, can I integrate things into Etsy? I think we uh, have a, a meeting next week. We're going to talk about that. Um, you know, I don't see a massive reason why we couldn't. We just have to look at like whether their technology is like good and whether or not it, it um, uh, you know, makes it easier to develop. We'll have a look at that for sure. Uh, what else we got? Wow, I love that fabric sample. Glad you like that, dude. Um, side save. Been playing for a few weeks. The designs, first samples, which I love. I'm ready to pro. Going to put my store public and live. Dude, that's wicked. Glad you're enjoying using the product. That really uh, does make a difference, um, by the way. You know, uh, especially if you put yourself in the perspective of someone who's young, it's just joining the team or team. We give young people a lot of responsibility um, and they kind of get in the chat and they build something like, um, like Lil did the other day. And then you see loads of people just loving what you've built or loving what you've shipped. So it doesn't really cost anything to be kind, but it really does motivate and uh, help a lot of people um, on this end. So thanks for the good vibes there. People would love more beach and urban shots. Naughty. Okay, dude. Sergio noted beach and urban's coming your way, sir. Um, Nevi, my YouTube is streamed to my TV and now my face is massive. <laughs> <laughs> it's lucky we zoomed out actually. I don't know if I want to look at my head in a massive format. Right, what do I have to do? Am I missing anything? Because we're going to close this down in like in, in, in moments. How long have we been going? Flipping heck. Sorry everyone. <laughs> oh yeah i won't forget that okay all right we're we 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 uh, i just totally forgot it <laughs> that's why you're here dude huh? what oh yeah there's another feature yeah. we got released in a minute all right okay hang on i'm right, just gonna compose myself all right i just want to make sure we answer the questions have the chat has he covered the eu yes sir sound advice watch your back um you it's happening forest shots no worries andy dude uh forest i say forest you say yeah. <laughs> Jenna. <Jenae. clears throat> Why don't you come to Portugal, the greatest country on earth? We'll still be able to ship from um, uh, um, where we're going to build a EU factory to Portugal, dude. Um, but yeah, you know, I'd love to factory in Portugal, go out there, go surfing and stuff. Right, any last bits? Questions, questions, questions. Uh, More visibility on brand and order confirmation emails, etc. Yeah, we get we're, we're all of those flows and emails and stuff. A lot of it, we're intent is that you can configure them plus build your own flows. Yeah. All right, and that brings us on nicely to some sneaky last previews um, of some the next AMA. It was too long between this one and the last one, um, but we got some we got a whole load of <laughs> you know, fudge. We can hear that really loud over here. <laughs> uh, a whole load of features and products coming up. Um, uh, we'll launch another AMA. Basically, the first half of the year we spent mostly building, and now we've got a whole lot of backlog of stuff we've got to launch. Here's a couple of sneak previews. We're using them internally. This is a good sign. It means they're coming to you soon. Number one is the newsletter. It's T-Mail. It's going to be incredible. Here's what it looks like. This is a newsletter that's actually built in T-Mail. Okay, you can see you can create a new campaign. There's a whole a series of different training bits of information resources we learned. Um, you can uh, see uh, like uh, your stats. Um, have drafts, schedule campaigns. It's going to be awesome. Let's have a look at one that we've uh, actually built. 
uh, right here. Um, it's on, it's I know. Right there, and that's 15. I know. It's just, oh, yeah, sick. Yeah, so there's an example of like a, a campaign that we kind of built. So you can just kind of build it really easily, put it together, pictures, text, videos, schedule it, save drafts, um, actually segment audiences as well. Um, your data is kind of building up. We're going to build a subscribe component into the new uh, pages builder so that you can build your mailing lists um, as you go as well. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Plus, people who've already shot from you, if you had a store for a while, they've elected to along the way, uh, that data is kind of uh, building up and stored it in a GDPR compliant way. More on that um, extremely interesting subject, GDPR. It definitely won't send you to sleep, promise, um, <laughs> in a future video. So we talked about a subscribe uh, component that you can use in the new pages editor, which brings us on to the new pages editor, if we can see that surge. Um, we're really excited about this one. It kind of sounds kind of like an optimization, but actually it's a game changer because what it allows you to do is massively uh, change the way that you build pages um, and change the amount of styling options that you've got. You can have way more fonts, you can configure components at a sort of component level. We're going to do some more work to unpack and build better theming for you. The goal really is to allow you to have massively uh, increased uh, creative freedom, change the way your, your websites look, build more interesting and dynamic pages. Um, and just really quickly and easily build them. I mean, in the website editor right now allows you to do some stuff, but I don't know, it can be a bit clunky. It's a bit out of date. This is just, uh, I guess, I guess if you felt like where we went to from the old magic models to the new one was a big step up, this is at least as big of a step up, if not more. That's how I can best describe it. Okay. There's sneak previews back to studio. Um, uh, to wrap up, there is a feature that we've just launched and it's one that's based on requests and feedback from you guys in the chats. You guys really wanted for ages for us to do bundles with adults and kids stuff together. Mm -hmm. I know that me and you wanted to have a little and large t-shirt collection together. Mm -hmm. And now we're finally able to do it. So you can actually make adults and kids bundles. Uh, the work to make that happen from a financial and accounting point of view is a complete nightmare, but you guys wanted us for it so many times. Uh, that we did it anyway. I'm glad we did. Peer pressure works. That's what we've learned. Um, <laughs> um, to wrap it up, um, you know, thanks all for coming. Obviously, uh, the next AMA should have more of the other guests because they've done a great job. We hope you love the products and the features. Please give us some feedback um, about uh, whether you like them, what you think can be improved. In terms of the uh, photography coming up, show us what you want. We listen. Um, and I'll just leave you with this thought. Remember, this tool will make it easier and more convenient for you to create photos, but there's two different types of photos. They're not a substitute, and you can't substitute you, your story, your brand. Nobody can AI that away from you, humanity, basically. And if we look at, say, Louise's example, not only was it kind of a cool photo, a unique photo, a real photo, but it allowed her to kind of tell her story, get her story in the local paper, drive some traffic. That link inbound from that paper to her store uh, boosted her credibility. It would have been seen by search engines, increased the ability for her to be visible in, in um, search results. You can use the photo time and time again as well. So when you're playing with this AI magics, you know, don't AI away the mojo and the soul that's in your brand. Use it. Use it sensibly, but with the time and the money you've saved, the best investment you can make based on our experience and all of the data is in thinking of yourself, whether you're Tony the Tiger or Banksy um, or just you. That is you know, the most valuable and best story that you've got to tell. Um, we'd strongly encourage you to, to, to tell it. Well, how long was that? Minute 16. Uh, I was 16. Oh, 16. Yeah. <laughs> no. Checking anyone's still there. They're just asleep by now. <laughs> Wake up. It's time to go.